we'd have a number of arguments back and forth. He'd throw me out of the store, say, go home, go find a job. I'd go pout for a week or two. My mom would make peace with my dad. I'd go back to the store, he'd throw me out. And I just, and, and as I look back at it and didn't see it at the time, it was a classic father-son kind of argument about merit and manhood or value. And I was going I decided quite subconsciously that I was going to prove to my dad that I had real worth and I could do something. But the only language he understood was the business he was in. And so I thought his business was wrong. I'm going to do one that's right. And I invented one in my mind and began playing with it and making sketches of stores and fixtures and thinking about things that I might sell. And I had a spinster aunt, and uh, I don't think she knew what was going on in terms of what I was imagining. She just knew that my dad and I were, weren't getting along and I didn't have a job. And uh, my aunt Ida said, I've, I've got uh, $5,000, which was her whole net worth, spinster aunt. And she said, I'll give you the $5,000, but you have to put it in the bank and promise not to spend it. But banks will loan money to people that have money, I think. And she said, so if I give you the 5000 you put it in a savings account, and you have to promise never to spend it because that's all I have. And my parents couldn't have contributed. They, didn't, they had nil. And so I did, waited a couple of months, and went to the neighborhood bank, and I said, by the way, I'm thinking about starting a business. And the, the loan officer at the branch said, well, how much money do you have? And I said, well, I've got $5,000 in your bank. And he said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, I don't know but I've got $5,000, would you make me a loan? He says, well, if you have $5,000, I'll loan you ten. but why don't you come up with an idea? I said, oh, 